Okay, so morning guys, welcome to another review from the Beard of Berserker, me, Matt. Now, I have to apologise for a start for the loss of movement. Um, I've got a slip disc in my back and I'm in absolute agony. Had hardly any sleep over the past couple of weeks and I'm knackered, but I managed to haul myself up on the chair. I'm on ridiculous painkillers and muscle relaxants from the doctors, so excuse me if I start talking gibberish, slide off of my seat on the floor and start dribbling and wet myself. But before we start, this is kind of quite a monumental occasion for me because this morning when I woke up, um, well, not necessarily this morning, pretty much first thing this morning, uh, when I woke up because I've hardly had any sleep, uh, my YouTube viewing, views of my videos is now over 13,000 and a huge massive massive thank you to each and every one of you guys out there that's liking my videos enjoying my videos commenting on them and subscribing if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet then please hit that subscribe button because everything that I've set up over on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt and on here my Beard of Berserker uh, YouTube channel is about me trying to help kind of support and promote these small brands and craftsmen out there that are making some amazing, amazing products and not these huge, massive brands. But let's face it, they've got a shed ton of money that they can find to promote in marketing and advertising their products that these smaller brands don't have. So it's all about trying to get behind them and help and support and advertise and promote them. Now, what I'm finding with all the reviews that I've, I'm doing, stuff that I'm going out and buying myself, stuff that's getting sent through, is that because these are smaller brands and craftsmen, they have to work so much harder in order to get their products out onto the market because they know as soon as they do, they're going to have to compete against these massive faceless brands and they have to get their products as best as they possibly can before they release them. And I'm finding with around 97, 98% of the products that I have reviewed, I have reviewed, they're actually a lot, lot better than these huge, massive brands. Now, I the same as you viewers out there, you guys, I'm a consumer. So when I go out to work, I get paid, and basically I spend my hard-earned cash on stuff to review and bits and pieces, well, bills and everything else. And there's nothing worse than going out and spending a hard earned cash, beard products, skin products, hair products, clothing, jewelry, whatever, for it just to not live, to live up to expectations. You know, there's nothing worse than getting it home. You open it up, you smell it, you use it. It doesn't live up to expectations. It falls apart, just not particularly good. So with all these reviews that I am doing from day one, that didn't hurt too much. I am completely honest with all the reviews that I do. It's not about blowing smoke rings up a brand's backsides because if there's something I don't like about it, I'm going to say reasons why I don't like it. I'm completely unaffiliated to any of these brands whatsoever, completely unbiased, and everything I do is my own honest opinion, okay? So that's the way it is. If there's something I like about a product, I'll say reasons why I like it. If there's something I don't like so much about it, then I will say reasons constructively why I don't like it. So I'm gonna need me reading specs for this because my notes are kind of like over here far away and I can't see them from where I'm sitting and I'm not moving my chair because I'm in pain. So, a few days ago, thank you so much to Jason and Tom from Wildside Beard Company from Flora in Illinois for sending a couple of products through for me to have a look at, see what I think of, and basically give you guys my impressions. Now, we've been chatting backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, you've probably heard of Wildside Beer Company, kind of like up and coming and everything. Um, basically, they started in 2019 to set up products that they would actually like, because they're both bearded, they're both bikers, and, like myself, uh, basically they were, they wanted to make their own products that was nice for themselves and that they wanted to use. So basically come up with their own products, thought to uh, launch it onto the market, which they have done. And this is basically the fruit of their work. I'm just gonna be reach over here. Oh, jeez, crazy. For a second, sorry. So they've sent through a few products for me to have a look at, give you guys my honest opinion. So we're gonna be looking at the products first. 
the packaging of them, then the ingredients of them, then the prices of them, and then afterwards scoring them out at 20. 20 being absolutely fantastic, 10 being, yeah, it's kind of all right. Zero, I'm not gonna touch that with a shitty stick. So that's how it kind of works. Because there is nothing worse than having a product that's down here on the scale that it just picks up dust. You don't want to use it because it's got full of chemicals and stuff like that. Now, it is nice to see that with their products that they make, their beard products, um, it's all handmade in small batches, which is great. That way you can keep an eye on basically what you're doing and you can trace stuff back. Um, they use pre uh, premium essential oils and all natural uh, carrier oils as well in there which is great so and plus there is a code with this as well so at the end I will be giving you guys a code and which will entitle you to 15% off which bless and thank you so much to Jason and Tom for sending that through so first of all I've got a box through I'm not going to show you what a box looks like because you're adults and you know what a box looks like because it's a box and it's made out of cardboard Inside that box were a few items. We had a bag. Funny enough, this is a drawstring hessian burlap bag uh, with Wildside uh, Beard Company on it. W dot something or other. It's a bit W dot something or other. I will be putting links down below, so don't worry too much about that. Also inside was the business card. Wildside Beard Company Flora or Flora. Flora. Must be Flora. Flora, Illinois. Follow us on Twi uh, Facebook, Twitter, find our shop on Etsy. There you go. And I will be putting links down below to Wildside Beer Company. Also inside, we had a sticker. I love me stickers. Goes on to the um, sticker wall of fame in basically the review room. And you may ask, well, why are you not doing a review in your review room? Basically because sometimes... The missus is off work. She's actually working at the moment, so I've got the full run of the house and there's a lot more space on the dining room table here. I've got the sea just out there that I can see, as opposed to being trapped in kind of like my spare bedroom stroke uh, review room. But I'm gonna be doing a lot more reviews in the review room soon, so stay tuned for that. Plus, before I carry on with this, sorry to interrupt, I have a massive, I know it's three months away and you're all like, yeah, it's summer, don't worry about it yet. But I have a massive, massive, the biggest thing that I've ever done so far, live Halloween review thingy special going on. Funny enough, on Halloween 31st of October, I'm trying at the moment to source some Halloween themed products and horror and beard products and stuff like that with the Halloween theme behind it. So if you are interested in that, please give us a message, send us a message, don't message me over there on Instagram, leave a comment down below because that's what's coming up uh, at the end of October and it is gonna be mental. So, but carrying on. Anyway, so we have the sticker that they're sent through. Now, oh, I'm moving forward. As you can see, because they are both bikers, they have incorporated a beard with the basically bike engine on the top of it, pan head, flat head, whatever. There you go. So that is their logo, which is nice to see. It's nice to see something different out there as opposed to the cut out sort of beard with the sunglasses kind of look and everything else like that. So it's nice to see something different. Also inside, we had a can cooler beer cooler, mug cooler, whatever you want to call it, made out of neoprene wetsuit material with their logo on the front, a bit more easier to see on my camera on my crappy iPad. Wildside Beer Company from Illinois, uh, Flora in Illinois, so that's very nice. And I see, I shall be using that for my tins of beer. Also we have a note, uh, 7th of the 12th, 19, or 12th of the 7th, yeah, it's 12th of the 7th because we're not in the 12th month yet. I forget with American that they put their month first, then their then the day day, and then the year as opposed to us. In the UK, we put it the other way around, but each their own, who cares? Uh, 12th of the 7th, 19, Matt, thanks for checking us out. will be great to have a trusted brother in the UK. Stay wild, Jason and Tom. Here is a code for your viewers to get 15% on stuff. 
I'm not going to give it to you yet. Um, you'll have to, I'll give that at the end, but there you go. It's nice to receive these hand notes and it's nice with Wildside as well that they were constantly chatting to me. I'm chatting back, I'm chatting to them. They're chatting back and they're so into their products that they are creating, which is so nice to see as opposed to, well, there you go, there's the oil, there's a bomb, see what you think of it. There's kind of like, well, let us know what you think. Do you think this could be improved? Do you think that could be improved? And it's so nice to see when a couple of blokes or whoever it is, you know, is that interested in their products that they want to know what you think and would rather hear about negatives as opposed to just, oh yeah, it's fantastic stuff. Because that means, at least with the negative stuff, you can put it right and everyone's got their own opinion on stuff, I know. But there you go. Also, they sent through Blessem a t-shirt. Um, the can holder itself is £2.50, all put through a currency convert this morning, bearing in mind it is in US dollars. Uh, so the can holder was £2.50. pennies, um, And also the t-shirt, which is coming in at £16.64. pennies. It's got their logo on the front, front, bleh, 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 uh, front as you can see, Worldside Beard Company. Uh, www.wildsidebeard.com on the back it's obviously got a big logo of theirs on the back which is nice kind of like a vinyl print I have put this through the wash three times to basically check that it doesn't start peeling falling apart and everything so it's not just putting it in a washing machine on its own it's like wash it dry it with other clothing, wash it, dry it with other clothing, wash it, dry it for other clothing, wear it for a bit, see how it is. No signs of peeling, flaking or anything like that. Still as pristine as the day that it arrived. A few dog hairs on it, but that's what you get when you got a dog. And this is a Gildan Dry Blend T-shirt, small, uh, something or other than percent cotton, and something or other percent polyester. Don't iron it, don't wear it into radioactive environments, does not stop bullets and will not ward away vampires. But there you go, yeah, good t-shirt, no stretching, pulling, fading or anything like that. The seams on it themselves, there you go, you can see the gill down in there. All sort of like double stitched and everything. Nice quality garment and nice to have something you can't necessarily get in this country and it's nice to wear something different that you're not going to see down the road so there you go that is their logo there you can see the beard oh that hurt the beard with the bike engine on the top of it because i say they're both bikers but thank you for that and moving on a couple of beard products so we have a beard oil and beard balm first of all we're going to be looking at the beard oil now it's nice when you go on to as a review when uh, brand turns around and says, well, pick a scent and we'll send it through. And it's like looking at one of these menus in a restaurant and it's kind of like you see five or six different things you like and you cannot make your mind up. That is, it's nice to see when rather than it's just like, yeah, I'll kind of go for that one, that there are other scents that you would like to try at the same point because they had another scent which is called Biker's Breakfast and another one that really appealed to me was called... Um, campfire candy which and this one as well so it was a toss-up between three of them i literally flipped a coin and made my choice on the decisions of the coin this one is called naughty pine so as the kind of name suggests this is like a deep woody sort of scent now, with pine, you have to be very, very careful because it is a quite potent scent. And there are kitchen floor cleaners, toilet cleaners and stuff like that that are pine fresh because allegedly pine is a fresh sort of scent. But this is a sort of deep woody scent. And I have used this, so I know exactly what it is like. And it comes in a 30ml bottle. Their logo on the front and the coloration obviously depends on what products you go for. And the ingredients on the oil itself is jojoba oil, or if you're a commoner like me, jojoba oil, rosehip oil, sweet almond oil, argan oil and vitamin E oil. And on top of that, you've got your premium grade essential oils as well. 
comes in an amber glass bottle because if you don't know the reason a beer products tend to come in an amber glass bottle is it stops UV rays which is those stuff that all that stuff that comes off in the sun and go and degrades all your oils and breaks them down and everything inside so that's why you tend to find bot, uh, your beard oils in opaque bottles uh, amber bottles bristol blue colors and stuff like that so that's why it's on there it's got a pipette on the top buying um which is my preferred method of administering beard oils for a beard my length i'm tending to use six drops a day when i wash it i will use around about seven to eight drops to help hold and lock the moisture in and so here we go now with all scents from beard oils don't just go from the scent that you can smell in the bottle because it's all about generating heat for your hand and the same with food if you bring something like a joint of meat or something out from the freezer it doesn't smell as soon as you start cooking it the heat starts working its way through it and everything else it will start releasing the the scent and i have actually used this now because before we start this product comes in the us usa um, they don't have to have CPSR reports done on it, which is Cosmetic Product Safety Reports. Whereas all stuff in the UK and Europe has to go through CPSR checks to make sure basically you're not going to have any problems with it. It's safe to use. You're not going to turn into a vampire, werewolf, monster or anything like that. Your face isn't going to fall off. But I would recommend even with the stuff that CPSR checked in the UK and Europe, always do a test patch. Make sure you don't have any reactions to it. Leave it for 24 hours rather than slathering your face in the stuff and then finding out you've got a problem. But I have used both of these and have no problem whatsoever. But I did do a test batch first just in case because you never kind of know. Um, nice kind of base ingredients. The same sort of things that I've seen in a lot of different oils. Off yellow colour, pale yellowy colour. Going to generate, put a few drops in my beard. I have done it this morning. Going to put some in my hand. Oh, that hurts my back. My back is killing me. Generate a bit of heat through it. This is, see, I love my deep, woody, wintry scents. For some reason, I'm, I love winter, you know, Halloween, November, December, January, Christmas period and stuff like that. I love that sort of time of year. I'm not 100% into these summer scents because in the UK here, we don't really get a summer, if you know what I mean. It's like a few days of really warm weather and then it's back to rain and cloud again. So I love my winter scents because we tend to have more winter here than we do summer. And this is quite a pokey scent. So on my scent chart down here, very subtle, here, yeah, it's kind of your medium sort of standard sort of thing that you'll smell. And up the top here is your knock your head off and kick it into next week. This being a pine, predominantly pine scent, is literally, it's right up here. It's a good, punchy, knockout scent, which I really, really like. And it doesn't have that toilet disinfectant, floor cleaner sort of scent to it. There is, like I say, you probably get it all around the world and stuff like that, uh, pine floor cleaner and disinfectant and stuff like that. This has got a really nice natural pine to it as opposed to one of those forced chemically sort of smells. And it is a potent scent and I'm finding that the scent on average is lasting for around about three to four hours before I cannot smell it. Once you get that initial hit up here, it does die back a bit to leave you with a nice, fresh, pine, sprucey sort of scent, which is really, really nice. Now, I'm just taking my glasses off for a bit because I'm actually sweating here. It's ridiculously hot outside, and I don't know why I decided to wear a T-shirt and a shirt. Whew. Now, with beard oils and beard balms as well, always remember you can mix them, match them, okay? So just because you've got a pine, outdoor, woodsy smelling beard oil, doesn't mean you have to do exactly the same with the balm. And this pine spruce um, beard oil works very, very well with an orange, spiced orange. It also works well with a vanilla as well. 
and I've also mixed it and used it with a cinnamon balm as well, which is a Christmas one, and work really, really well. So if you want a good Christmas wintry pine scent, this is gonna be right up your back alley. Pardon the expression, but there you go. And it is a very, very nice scent. Leaves the beard feeling nice and soft and everything. No itchiness, redness, flaky skin, hair falling out, turning into a zombie or anything like that. Really nice scent. It does exactly what it says on the bottle and lasts a nice long while. Put my glasses back on again. Oh. Moving on, as the cow said to the other cow, we have the beard balm. That beard oil was in a 30ml bottle. This is a two ounce tin. I know it is a two ounce tin because I know what two ounces sound like, or look like even, and it says two ounces on the front. See where I've actually used this and scraped it out to give it a try. And it's exactly the same scent as the beard oil, just muted slightly because you've obviously got beeswax and shea butter in there as well as the jojoba oil, jojoba oil, uh, rosehip oil, sweet almond oil, argan oil and vitamin E oil. And so it tends to sort of like block the scents out a little bit, uh, or the smell. A little bit on my finger, just generate. Oh, God, sorry guys really really nice now i do people often say to me why do you smell the beard balm if it's the same scent as the beard oil because in my opinion being a reviewer it should be exactly the same scent i've had it before believe it or not where i've had a beard oil and a beard balm they've both been allegedly the same scent but smell completely different and it's just for me to make sure that the consistency between the two is okay and they are both fine they both smell exactly the same. This one's smell is slightly more muted because it's, like I say, got the beeswax and the shea butter in it, shea butter, whatever you want to call it. Just the right amount of beeswax in there to give it a little bit of hold. Remember, beard balm is not a styling product. It's almost kind of like a beard oil, but in like a solid form that emulsifies nicely into your hands, which this one does. And it's got a little bit of tiny hold in there with the beeswax, which just basically helps to keep the unruly hairs in check, but it's not used for kind of like styling your beard into any mad shape or anything. Just gives you a little bit of hold. I've lost a beard here. Is that beard? It was a newish one, it's a fairly short beard here. Oh, but yep. Yeah. So there you go. Now, the scent on this, absolutely bang on what they're supposed to be. It's nice with the products as well. They carry the same logo with the green spruce pine look behind it. I do like with both the products as well, they have their ingredients on there, which they should be. All beard products pretty much use, or 90% of the time, use the same carrier oil, so it's not like you're trying to hide stuff from other brands, but it is so nice to see that the actual ingredients are clearly labeled on there, which they should be and fantastic products. Now my only problem is now I've used this one, is it's like, I really wanna try the biker's breakfast and the campfire candy, because um, I really hope, they've got quite a few different sorts of scents and everything out, but you hope that there is consistency between all of their products. I hope to God that they are as good as this one, you know? There'd be nothing worse to go, that one's fantastic, that one's fantastic, I'm gonna go out and buy another one, that one's shit. All products on from beard brands should be the same consistency. If you, as a maker, producer, creator of beard oils and beard balms, have a product that you don't particularly like, don't bother doing it. Or work on it and make it better. So I really do like with these beard brands that have got lots of different products out and scents and everything, when they can sit there and go, yeah, that one's good, 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 and there's consistency along the level. Which so far, with Wildside Beard, absolutely fantastic. And when it comes to scoring it out of 20, does exactly what it says on the tin. It's a nice product, nicely packaged. I like the slightly different labeling on there with obviously the bike motor and the beard as well. And I noticed if you can see on that, because this one is the Naughty Pine, it's got 
almost uh, like a pine cone sort of look on it, and which is nice to see. So it's really nice to see that, and I'm gonna score them straight up out of 20, 20 out of 20, good hold, good base uh, oils, or carrier oils, whatever you wanna call it, really good scent, lasts a long while, and when it comes to prices on them, 30 ml of beard oil, 11 pounds 65, like I say, on the website, you do loads of stuff as well, beard washers and bits and pieces. And the beard balm, £11.65, both are going to last you ages. So that is why I'm scoring it as well, 20 out of 20, because of the pricing as well. I would expect to pay anywhere up to about 15 quid on the beard balm, and I'd probably pay up to around about 15 quid on the beard oil as well. So, and absolutely fantastic beard products. And thank you so much for Jason and Tom for sending that through. I hope they've enjoyed the review as much as you guys have. And plus, like I said before, I do have a code. So if you use the code Berserker15, all uppercase, all one word, B-E-R-Z-E-R-K, oh sorry, Berserk, thought I read it as Berserker there, Berserk15, B E R Z E R K 15, you will get 15% off of your order. I will be putting that link uh, code as well in the description box down below. So please give them a check out. Let me know what you think of them. If you've tried the Biker's Breakfast or the Campfire Candy, please let me know what you think of those because I'm looking at buying those next from Wildside Beard Company. Thank you so much to Jason and Tom for sending that through. I hope you have a fantastic day wherever you are. Keep on taking care of each other. Keep on looking after each other. Keep on growing those beards and keep on helping and supporting each other. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next review from the Beard of Berserker. And I'm about to collapse on the floor in pain, possibly not get up for the next couple of hours. So have a great afternoon, guys. Thank you for your time. And I, lo I look forward to seeing you guys in the next review. Thank you. Have a great day. Cheers, guys.